Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing a sneaky cat that wants to get some goldfish. So let's get going. Alright, so the reason why I picked this project is because I just figured we should do something a little more fun and kind of like not really subject related, but um, uh, I just want to do it because I think it looks really cool and cute. So here I have two examples from the past. Uh, this is the first one uh, that I taught a kid. And um, what they did was uh, they did it on the really large sheet of paper. And I'm pretty sure there's a book that came along with this, but um, it's not with me at the moment. If I was in my art room at school, I could probably find it and base it off that. But I don't have the art book with me, so we're just going to draw what we see here. And we'll try to go along and try to figure out what we want to do as well. So here is one of the examples uh, from a student. Uh, this is mine from a couple years ago. And you can see it's a little more detailed. Uh, I don't expect you guys to do that uh, as detailed as this one. Uh, we'll do it a little bit easier one. And that way we will make sure that uh, everyone can complete it. So here we go. So all you're going to need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. So in my case, I have my sketchbook right here. Um, I'm going to do this in marker as always. That way it's a little bit easier to see on camera. But um, here we go. So first of all, I want you guys to draw a circle. So the circle is gonna be representing for the fishbowl, but watch how I do the circle first. It's not gonna be a full circle because there should be an opening on top. That opening is for the mouth of the fishbowl. So let's keep that there. Now, next step, in order to create the opening for the fishbowl, it's kind of like the small oval going long ways. Uh, side to side, so you're just going to create that little oval on top, just like so, and then create another oval, uh, the exact same uh, shape, but a little bit smaller than the inside, just like so. There we are. Now, if you want to create a little bit of waves for the water, you can, uh, or just a straight line, just like how I am doing, just like that. And then you need somewhere to sit it on. Now, before you do where the floor is going to be, I'll show you guys what to do first. So I'm just going to draw my line right here for the table. But watch what I do next. Now, originally, I would normally do this in pencil and just go all the way across. But since I don't have an eraser when I'm working with this, uh, I want to pre-draw where the paws will be for the cat. So all I'm going to do for the cat is I'm going to draw two little humps right here and right here. So they're pretty equal distance apart. And then I'm going to create either four or three little U's to represent its paws. So one, two, three. One, two, three. If you want to create little claws, you can. Maybe I'll put that right now for you guys. Actually, kind of makes it look more interesting. And that can continue the floor. Or the table, I should say. All the way across, make sure I don't hit the paws. Or inside the paws, I should say. And there we are. Now, if you want to put miscellaneous uh, supplies on the table, like a glass of milk or something, or like a napkin or something like that, or a book, uh, you can. Um, but uh, for me, I think I'm just going to put um, maybe like a, a mug right here on this side. So here's my mug. So here's an oval. I'm going to go up and around it, just like so. And then maybe put a handle on it. And then maybe on this side, I'll put like a book. So a book is kind of like a large M, just like that then I could probably put some pages on the side. There, ta-da, a book. All right, um, I could put more stuff if I wanted to on the table. Um, maybe I can put like a little cell phone here. There's always a cell phone on some table. <laughs> oh, the technology age. And then I'll just draw a casing around it and maybe put a little button on top and put it to the side. There we are. All right, that's close enough for a phone. All right, now I can try to finish drawing the cat. Uh, for the cat, uh, I'm gonna try to make it have slightly bigger head, so it's a little bit cute. So here's the hat, or sorry, here's the head. So it's like this. But before I continue the head, I do want to draw the ears. So the ears are gonna be a little bit pointy and going a little bit up. So the cat's nice and alert. And then I'm gonna draw miniature triangles in the inside of those. There's one. There's two. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a ruffle on the head, just like so. All right, for the mouth and the nose, the mouth is gonna have a little bit, or the nose, I should say, it's gonna be an upside down triangle. And I'm gonna kind of create uh, a sideways three for the mouth. And then if I want, I can kind of create teeth on him. 
I did do a little bit different mouth in this one, so if you want to copy this one because you find it more entertaining, you can. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit, something a little bit different. Down with this one, like that, capital D, looking at the fishbowl. And then I will create one eye open, like that. There we are. <laughs> That's really cute. And then obviously we need the tail. So the tail is going to go up, around, and back again. Or if you want the other tail, you can do the other tail as well. All right, I think that's it for my cat. Now it's time to add some fish. Uh, you can make any fish you want. You can make it facing the cat. You can make it facing away from the cat. Um, I'm gonna do, <laughs> these fish are laughing at the cat. If you guys can see that, they're laughing at the cat. But um, you can do any fish you want. I'm gonna just do a normal fish. A fish that has like no emotions at all, so. Here we are. They have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and then if I want to add some pebbles to the floor, you can. I'm just going to add little rivets to represent the ground. And then if you want to add some seaweed, you can. I'll do a couple here and there. If I have a castle or a treasure chest, you can. But for me, I'll just leave it blank. Now, here comes the fun part. You can do anything in the background if you want. Since it's an indoor scene, you can add a window, chandelier, door. Um, anything you want to complete the picture. So maybe I'll add a door somewhere. Here is the side of my door. Here's the decorations of the door. There's always a door that looks kind of similar to this one. There we are. Most doors look like that, right? Um, maybe I'll add a window. That'd be pretty cool. This one was super high. I don't know why I drew it so high. <laughs> it's okay though. It's alright. Okay. Uh, maybe we can add a clock. Clocks are always neat. It's four o'clock. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the gist of what I want to do for today. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to finish coloring it though, so let's go. Let's, sorry, let's get going. <laughs> Can't talk. I'm going to do this in marker. Get my markers out. Almost. Alright, here I go. Let's see, let's start off with the wall. I want to do really dull colors with the wall. It's kind of cool. Ugh. For the wall.
almost done. I'm just doing a few more last minute touches and I put the markers back on this position. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> At this point, I'm just putting random colors down. Okay, um, I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, I did decide to use a little bit of crayon at, towards the end because uh, there were certain colors I couldn't achieve, such as like the light blue with a uh, marker and stuff. So anyways, um, I think I'm pretty much done. The, par the parts I left white uh, are intentional, such as the clock, the cat, the book, and parts of the mug. Uh, so those are on purpose. But otherwise, I think this was a cool project to do. I know it wasn't really subject-based or anything like that. I just figured uh, you guys would want to do something a little more fun for it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.